Hey guys, hey guys, hey hey guys. Happy, happy morning to all of you guys. So I just want to state my piece on, you know, these girls having four and five baby fathers and none of them want to commit to them. And they go out and they still having all these four and five and six baby fathers and no one's really committing to them, guys. So, you know, at some point, right, there really becomes a point in life, right, where there comes a point, guys, in life. Let me see if I turn it this way. Can you guys see me if I turn it this way? Okay. So there comes a point, guys, right, in your life. Well, you have to say enough is enough, right? Now, for me, I was 18. I had my first daughter. Uh, now she's 14. I'm 33, right? So I had my first daughter at 18. And, you know, I said to myself, you know, I don't want to have a whole bunch of baby fathers, right? I don't want Tom, Dick, and Harry all up in me and having, you know, this nigga, that nigga, that nigga over here. No, <clears throat> I don't want that, right? So when I'm, so so when I met my husband, you know, I told him, I'm like, listen, huh? You know, after we was together about three years, I said, I don't want to have no baby, and I ain't married, and I ain't got no house or nothing to go to. So, you know, I set a standard, and a lot of a lot of these women that got four and five baby fathers, they not setting any standard. They just letting anything go. But it's deeper than that. You know, no one wants to have four and five baby fathers, okay? But it's deeper than that. It's deep. A lot of these women don't have moms. A lot of these women don't have fathers. A lot of these women don't have role models. A lot of these women don't have no love to be shown uh you know to them and 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 that's the real you know big thing guys so you know really it's time to wake up come on Shaq. it's really time to wake up and smell the coffee uh you know because at the end of the day you know if you having four and five baby fathers and you never get into the root of the problem then guess what your children gonna have four and five baby fathers your boys gonna have four and five baby mothers and then the cycle continues that is not normal it's not normal to have four and five baby fathers, six and seven baby fathers, four and five kids by 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 different by different men, no, right? And then and then you can't even provide, right? You can't provide for yourself, and then you can't provide for your kids, and then now you on to the next nigga, and that nigga can't provide for you. Come on, guys, it's time to wake up and smell the coffee, man. You around with us? Well, come on, then. I mean, you standing there like you are. You sent me a test this morning? Yeah. Are you coming back here? Yeah, but we ain't leaving till 9.30. Go go waiting for me too. You coming or not? Oh. Yeah. So so it's time to wake up, guys, and smell the coffee. You know, definitely time to wake up and smell the coffee. Because that is not normal at all. Auntie said, Yeah. We be back, y'all. About 9.30. Be ready. So it's time to wake up, guys. Smell the coffee, right? So, you know, it's time to break the chains uh, of our self-imposed limitation. Four and five baby fathers is not the move. Oh, yeah, Shaw, you want some food, right? Yep. Four and five baby fathers, guys, is not the move. But you could change the cycle, guys, you know, by loving yourself and showing your kids love and then showing them that it is a better way for, you know, you all to live. So there's four and five baby fathers and no one wants to commit, you know, at some point... <laughs> You know, you're going to get tired of that. And then it becomes this cycle of a never-ending saga of poverty and no one breaks it. So why don't you be that force for good? Why don't you be the one that breaks that cycle for you and your family and your four kids by the four different niggas that you have? So think about that, right? Think about that. I don't usually do videos, uh, you know, like this, but, you know, sometimes some things... Uh, you know, need to be said, guys. If you want to earn a hundred dollars a day from your cell phone, guys, click on the link below. Follow me on Instagram at Coach Tanisha Marie, guys. Taking my daughter to camp. See you soon.